They were the masters of the galaxy, of the countless sentient species that had evolved. Only they had developed psychic abilities. It was unclear what gave them their powers. Historical records were clear, though. They did not possess these abilities before venturing out into space. Had it been some form of radiation, some form of virus, a pulse, a genetic anomaly? No one knew the answer, but it mattered little. They had this ability, and with it they had subjugated half the galaxy. One single ship with a powerful psych master was enough to enslave an entire species. And so for the past 2,000 years they had jumped from system to system and expanded their empire civilization after civilization. The little primitive planet of this system was the next on the list. For Psych Master Oker Zerk, it was business as usual. For these miserable creatures, it would be a great surprise. At least for the few minutes before their brainwashing would turn them into obedient slaves of the Empire. For Oker Zerk was a level 10 psychic, the elite of the elite. There were less than 100 of the same level in the entire Empire, and he prided himself on being superior to the other 97. His power allowed him to convert billions of creatures at once across an entire solar system. He had done it dozens of times before. When he reached out, he felt the essence of sentient creatures, warping the neural connections and chemical message substances of their central nervous system into complete loyalty to the Empire. He made himself comfortable in his chair and started. After a few seconds, he realized that something was wrong. He couldn't hear anything. There was only silence. Scan the planet, he said to the pilot while opening his eyes. It seems to be empty. After a few seconds, the pilot replied, No, sir. Scans confirm that there are several billion sentient creatures on this planet. They even built up a level 5 civilization. Although the jump from level 4 did occur only recently, Ukerzerk frowned. This had to be a mistake. Normally when he took over a planet, his mind was full of millions or even billions of echoes. And this time, nothing. This has never happened before. Move the ship closer, he commanded. The pilot obeyed, and the ship accelerated from the middle of the solar system towards its star. After a few hours, they had reached the moon of the little planet. They were still at a safe distance, no technology these poor creatures had could detect them. From here, the psych master tried again. With all his will, all the concentration he could muster, he tried to connect to the minds of these creatures, to no avail. After a minute, Okerzerk collapsed from exhaustion. The pilot turned from his seat. Are you all right, sir? This is highly unusual. Perhaps we should... Silence, Okerzerk bellowed. He would not return to the Empire in shame. He would not be the first psych master to fail in converting a species. Move us into the atmosphere, he commanded. But sir, the pilot didn't get any further. Olkerzerk used his abilities on the young pilot, technically forbidden and frowned upon by his species, but he could always erase the pilot's memories and return him into his original state. Since the pilot was just a level 3 psych apprentice, his mental defense lasted barely half a second. Now closer, the psych master commanded. The ship entered the atmosphere. Olkerzerk tried again. With all his power, all his experience, he tried to connect to the natives, he tried to localize their echoes. He channeled more and more of his power. Never before had the strain been so great. Trembling, he whispered, Closer. The ship descended from the upper into the lower atmosphere. Still, the psych master felt nothing. Enraged, he went beyond his limits, further and further, ignoring any sign of pain or fatigue. Then it happened. The psych master had channeled so much power that he failed to contain and control it. An unintended telekinetic attack killed the pilot and ripped a hole into the ship. The ship shook violently as it descended uncontrollably towards the ground. When Olkerzerk awoke, he was badly wounded. A few minutes later, he heard something, some form of primitive language. Soon after, some native creatures came through the hole he had created. The psych master smiled. Not everything was lost. He would just take control of these creatures and recover. Once he had taken over the planet, he would repair his ship and return to the Empire. Just a minor setback. But when he tried to control the creatures that had surrounded him, he didn't feel their presence. There was no echo, no thoughts, no emotion. It was as if they didn't exist. With horror, Olkerzerk realized 
that while sentient, these creatures had such primitive brains that they were immune to his psychic powers. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't connect. As he faded into unconsciousness, the reticulan thought to himself, this has to be the dumbest species in the galaxy. Not far away from where the ship had crashed, there was an urban center. Visitors were greeted with a billboard. It said, Welcome to Roswell. 